Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have um, entries number four and five. And the first one, I did pull out this beautiful uh, index card because I was looking for um, the YouTube channel name. So this one, look at how gorgeous that is, first of all. Just take in all that purple loveliness. Isn't that beautiful? I love that so much. It's so pretty. It has a little pocket on the back, and in the pocket it has the information. So this is from Jacqueline Haley, and her note says, Best wishes on your Anything Goes subscriber challenge. Thank you for the invitation to join in on all the fun. And close is my entry. I do hope you like what I have selected for you. Trust me, you guys, there is never an issue as to whether I will like what you said because I am grateful for anything that you guys share with me. I am fairly new to your channel and look forward to becoming more acquainted with you and your, and your subscribers as well. Happy crafting, Hand of the Queen, Jacqueline Haley. So with her information, it says YouTube channel, Jacqueline Haley, Hand of the Queen, I will link it below just to make sure of exactly how that is on YouTube. I don't know if it's all of that in the name or what, but I'll look it up and post it below. Favorite color, purples, my kind of girl. Favorite craft style, vintage Chevy Chic. Her birthday is February 26th, and she gave me her email, which I'm not going to share. <laughs> so, and of course... It all came in a lovely purple envelope as well. I actually got um, this and the other entry in the mail yesterday. But, of course, my camera battery was needing charged. And so I wasn't able to even take a peek. So I've had to wonder about these for a day. <laughs> look at how cute she has this tied. She's got like some sari silk here. And look at that pretty butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm all about the extra touch of the uh, packaging. I just think that really um, adds to um, the stuff that you send. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to untie it here. Oh, look at that. Whoops. Isn't that pretty? So it flips open there. And then it's got like a pocket where the two are put together. See that? And then you've got this side. So this side is purple with the green, which all coordinates with the paper that she's used. And this side has pink with the green. And it's got the same flat back pearls. And then it opens up like that. Isn't that cute? What a neat idea. I love that. Very cute. I love learning new ideas from all you other amazing crafters out there. Very cute. And then this one, oh look at this color, sorry silk. That's pretty too. That up there. That is really cool tissue paper. Can you guys see that? It's like a like a paint swirl. I love it. She did one of those altered mirrors. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that stunning? Oh, she's got a fairy on there and it's all glittery. Just the way I like it. All these little shabby flowers and the purple butterfly. 
And then these little paper flowers. A blue and a purple and a pink. She's got some um, like gimp trim going around it with flat back pearls. Look at that bling in the center of those flowers. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And she's got like this ruffled fabric with um, whoops, with some um, like netting underneath of it. Oh, and look at this side. Whoops. Get the mirror in there, but isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if that's messing it up. How pretty. And then she's got like the handle is um looks like it's um painted pink and then it's got gold. I don't know if she used like the gold wax or if it's um like gold metallic paint. There's a lot of different things you can do use to get that gold effect, but Oh my gosh, that is just stunning. Thank you so much. I love it. Gorgeous. And again, that comes from, I know it's Jacqueline Haley, I believe. Yes, Jacqueline Haley, Hand of the Queen. Oh, Jacqueline, thank you so much. I will treasure it always. Everything's just beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll move this to the side carefully. And the next package, which is entry number, what did I say, five? Yes, entry five comes from the lovely Jeannie Dreamer. I just love this lady. She is the sweetest, sweetest thing. And I got this envelope the same day I got the package. So I'm thinking maybe Miss Jeannie forgot to put the card in with it. I do that a lot. So look at this beautiful card. Whoop. It says happy birthday. It has this beautiful um, shades of lavender uh, embroidered flowers around it. It says happy birthday. I think this is a die cut maybe. Let's see what Miss Jeannie has to say. Perfect friend. Dorinda, I hope you are happy with my entry and your birthday gift. The entry is marked down in the corner. The rest are little gifts I made especially for you. Hugs, Jeannie Dreamer. Uh, see how sweet she is. Little gifts she made especially for me. How how sweet is that that someone will take the time to make things just for you? You know, I just appreciate that so much. And I guarantee you, Jeannie, I will love everything. Oh my goodness. First of all, I love this paper. It's got butterflies all over it. Oh my goodness. Look at this nice ribbon she tied it with. Look at this little, who's this little bag she has on Oh, it's taped on the thing, okay. Friends are the chocolate chips in the cookie of life. Isn't that cute? Oh, and that has her information on the back. So her YouTube channel is, if we don't all know, is Jeannie Dreamer. Her style is shabby chic, but likes vintage and lots of different styles. Her color is peridot green or peridot. I'm not sure. I think it's peridot. Her birthday is August 3rd. She was born and raised in a suburb of Chicago. Her hobbies, main ones, are crafting, sewing, quilting, and some card making. Thanks for sharing that, Jeannie. slide that out so I can save the paper. Isn't that cute? Look at that little bag. She's got like a little flower on top of a green flower on top of a little doily. That's so cute. I love little dainty things like that. And she's got it on a like a muslin or um, linen bag. What does she have inside here? 
what does she have inside? I see a little purple unicorn popping his head out. Oh, look, she did some die cuts for me. Those cute. I like the ones that have the, like, the, um, stitching around them. I just like that little added touch. There's a purple one. How are you? Some flowers. Thanks so much. Oh, look at this. Look at this little cow. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. There's a little cat. There's like a journaling card. Oh, look at this unicorn. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and a dragon. I love dragonflies. Dragonflies and butterflies. I love them both. And sunflowers are my favorite flowers. I don't think I've told anybody that, but I love sunflowers. And it's kind of funny because yellow is not my favorite color. <laughs> and it's like not a color I use very much, but I love sunflowers. They're just so big and round and happy. Anyway. Oh, and look. Those are pretty too. Well, thank you, Jeannie. I probably shouldn't try to put things back while I'm filming because, you know, it always seems to take longer to put things away than it is to get them out. Okay. Oh, there's two things here. Of course. Oh. And, of course, I think I have my scissors over on the couch where I opened... Um, I cut open the envelopes yesterday, but I didn't peek, I promise. So my scissors are over there, so I'm just going to try and try and do this without tearing it too much. Because it definitely would take a lot more time to get up and go get them. Okay, not too much damage. It's Friday uh, today when I'm filming this. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm ready for the weekend. It's our first, uh, not even a full week back at school. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That wasn't even the front. That was the back. See, I completely forgot what I was talking about when I saw this. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at that dangle trim. And then the beaded. Jeannie, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that trim. You have to tell me where you got this trim. I love that. I've got to have more of that in my life. Look at these little butterflies. Did you crochet these butterflies? I need to know if you crocheted these or if somebody gifted those to you. Those are so cute. I love those. Look at these flowers. You added paint to those or something, didn't you? That is gorgeous. I know I'm like always trying to look at everything and um, hope I'm not too rough on it and tearing it apart. But I just, I like to see how things are made and what is on them. But it's very shimmery. Very beautiful. And of course, you all know by now how much I love purple and turquoise. So, that is gorgeous. And then she's got some of that trim underneath the, the flower. That is a gorgeous bag, Miss Jeannie. I love it. You hope I like what you made for me. My goodness, girl. I love it. Sorry, I know sometimes I watch my videos back and it's like, Dorinda, stop being so loud. <laughs> it's like I'm suddenly louder than loud. And I can't help myself. I get excited. And when I get excited, I get loud. So, oh, she's got some goodies in here. Let's see if we got all the goodies out. Yes, we did. That bag is just stunning. I love it, Jeannie. Oh. One of my favorite um, winter things is snowmen. Not that she knew that, but that's perfect. I love snowmen. And then there's this one. That is very cool. I love that print. 
And there's this one. Look at this. Isn't that cute? The little bike and the pineapple in the basket. And then this one with the butterfly and the um, iris. Very pretty. Thank you, Jeannie. I will find a good use for those. Oh my gosh, look at this fabric. It's like this fabric was made for me, wasn't it, Jeannie? Oh my gosh. And you gave me so much of it, girl. You guys, I can't even unfold it all or it won't fit, but she gave me a huge chunk of this beautiful fabric. I love that. Can you see the what the print is? Thank you so much, Jeannie. That was so nice of you to give me so much of that. Wow. I'm still in amazement over this gorgeous bag. I have to show it one more time. It's so pretty. I don't even know if I showed you guys all of it. I was so stunned myself that I wasn't even looking at the camera to make sure you all could see it. But I don't want you guys to miss it because it's just gorgeous. Because that pretty applique up there. Love it. Thank you, Miss Jeannie. All right. Let's see what else we have here. This one has more tape on it, so we'll see how I do it. Um, not ruining the paper. All right, I'm going to have to get the scissors. I will try to be quick and not bump the camera. I'll be right back. Do you guys hear my floor squeaking? I have the squeakiest floors, I swear. Okay. know if that's because I have a basement below me and it's just like uh, like the particle board on the pieces of wood going across so it's not what I'm trying to say is there's a not there <laughs> what am I trying to say there's not a lot between the floor and the the floor of the the middle level and the the ceiling of the basement there's not a lot between the two and that, I don't know if that's why it's so squeaky or not but it's been that way ever since we moved in so I started to say it's Friday here and I'm glad it's the weekend we had our first week back at school although I had worked in the summer program so it's not like I haven't been working probably next week will be even harder because it's the first full week this week we started on Tuesday in which our students only had half a day we had a full day so basically I've only worked four days this week but boy I'll tell you I felt every one of them so I am ready for the weekend oh my goodness so first of all it says handmade with love by Jeannie Dreamer isn't that cool it's cool when people have tags like that and it's like a fabric tag and she's got it pinned on with a, I think those are bulb pins or what they call them so and she's got these little little applique trim here which is to hang oh my goodness I just have to be quiet and look at it for a minute Wow, this is stunning. And I know the camera never shows how truly beautiful uh, a work of art is. Never, you guys. I can't even express how beautiful, how stunning this piece is. Jeannie, I love it. That is so beautiful. Beautiful. It's not very often you see me this quiet 
it's because I don't know what to say. I am just blown away. It is beautiful. Love the fairy. The flower over here with the lace around it. Gorgeous. The dangles. Beautiful. Appliques. The lace upon lace upon lace. Wow. That is just gorgeous. I don't feel like I can even do it justice describing it. You guys are just going to have to look. And you've probably already seen it in the VR. I didn't watch the VR because I wanted to be surprised. But I know she did one. I will go and watch it now. But my goodness, Jeannie. Thank you so much. Just stunning. This is definitely going to um, make my walls downstairs much more beautiful. Sorry, I'm bending over picks up. Having all of these lovely things um, to put around my craft area. I am in a basement and it's not um it, it's a nice enough basement as it goes but it's just concrete floor it's got like white walls on the side but like up above on each end it's just the wood and cement so it, it's hard to describe it like the ceiling is not finished and um it, it's just it's not dark or, or dank or anything like that. It's not like a Michigan basement, if anybody knows what those are, where they're kind of wet and damp and um, just not a very pleasant place to be. It's not like that. But it's not pretty. And one of the things I had hoped was that with the things that people send, I could hang them up around there to make it more bright and cheery. And that is definitely what I will be doing with all the... Whoopsie! with all the beautiful things that um, you guys send and what Jeannie and Je um, Jacqueline, it is Jacqueline, right? I get so mad at myself when I can't remember people's names and I don't want to um, say the wrong name, Jacqueline, yes. Jacqueline is fairly new to me, so um, I'm a little more familiar with Jeannie is all. But um, just beautiful, stunning items from both ladies. I am just floored. I love fairies, and they both definitely hit that fairy mark again. This is Jacqueline's. So, I mean, look at this beautifulness just displayed right here on my desk. Isn't that stunning? For all of us purple lovers, that is like, oh my gosh, love it just beautiful so anyway i'm sorry i'm i'm rambling on now i'm just a little overwhelmed with um the beauty i am beholding right now but thank you ladies thank you jacqueline thank you Jeannie. and i will link both ladies channels below so thank you for watching i hope you all have a wonderful weekend i hope you're able to get some crafting done if that's what you desire and i will see you all next time bye